Hey everyone, everyone. Welcome, welcome back, back to, to Five Minute Eats. All right, guys, we're in the midst of trying some of the new Tattooed Chef products that we found at Target. And this one is the Tattooed Chef Almond Butter Banana Smoothie Bowl with fruit and separate granola packet. It is a protein item that is vegan, gluten-free, just thaw and eat. It's a 6.25 ounce bowl of it for $4.99. And it looks like the fruit that is included in here is bananas, apples, blueberries, and that seems to be the majority of it. Now, we did one other smoothie from this company, mm -hmm. Smoothie Bowl, and that was pretty good, right? Yeah, I th that was the kombucha smoothie bowl. Yeah, surprisingly, that was really good. And so if you guys don't know, we are the largest YouTube Tattoo Chef reviewers. Of the food. Of the food, exactly. And the thing is, man, they have a very passionate online stock community. They really want to see this stock go higher and higher. The problem is, since I would say maybe what, the last year or something like that, <laughs> it's been going the other way. It's going down. Yes. And I think it's, what, seven bucks now? Yes. So as you can imagine, the online community is really just worked up, right? Mm -hmm. They hope it's going to go higher, but possibly because all these new offerings we've done so far have not been that good. We're hoping this can save it. And guys, if you're new to our channel, basically we review everyday grocery items. So before you spend your hard earned money, let us tell you if it's worth it. Now, just for the record, we don't care one way or another about the stock. We only care about the food. That's correct. And sometimes, people can't handle that. So let's get into it. Let's try it. If you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way to do that is using our Amazon links the next time you shop there. All right, guys, welcome back. Our rating system. Thumbs up by it again, thumbs down we would not. So for me, this is a thumbs down. This thing is, I don't hate it, but I don't love it enough that I would buy it again. The reason is the blueberry, the apple, the banana in this is all great, right? Except the almond butter and the coconut milk is just very bland and so when you go through the blueberry and the apple and the granola and all you have left is like the almond butter um, um, almond butter and coconut milk um, like frozen thing it's just very bland and it's kind of like then you're like scooping you're like looking for you know the granola and the blueberry and stuff to save it so you can finish eating it you know I just don't I just think this is a pretty like subpar product, man. It's just not impressive enough that I would pay the kind of money that they charge for this. Hmm. Thumbs down. If you like what we're doing here, please consider sending a super thanks. It helps us continue to provide more amazing content. Alrighty, for me, this one is going to be a thumbs down. I agree on all counts. This is not bad. But for $5, I would expect a whole heck of a lot more flavor. I would buy like the Sambazan Asiai bowl or the Dole. Yeah, way for better. Like, for like $3.50 to $4 for those. And they are bursting with flavor. This is very, very bland. Like the blueberries definitely give you the most flavor out of all of this. And the apples give a little bit of flavor. But the rest of it is very very just blah you can taste a little bit of the banana but i feel like they used not quite all the way ripe bananas because the really ripe bananas taste like banana they're very intense whereas the less ripe ones are kind of a little bit green and blah tasting and that's kind of what this tastes like the almond butter i feel like it's almost maybe not enough or not a good ratio of it because it's like you can taste it, but it's not an intense, like, oh, that's almond butter kind of flavor. I feel like this just needed to be taken up several notches. It's very, very blah. And for the kind of money that they want for this, it needs to be a whole lot better because the kombucha one was very flavorful. Yeah. This one is not because you could make this probably times five or six for the same amount of money if you just bought like the big bags of the frozen fruits and did this yourself. And of course, because I know we're gonna get this, we could add in honey and maple and all these other things, but we're reviewing the actual product that they're selling for $5, not the other things that you could add to it. So I don't think it's worth what they're charging, especially for it to be very bland. To sum it up, thumbs down, thumbs down. And if you guys buy from Amazon, 
use our Amazon link. The reason is when you do that, we get 10 cents, 50 cents, possibly even a dollar, which means we can continue to review things. All right, guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.